and welcome hello <laughs> hello and welcome to another booktube video from me lauren from lauren and the books i hope you're all having a wonderful day today um today i'm going to be chatting about my reading plans and my uh channel plans for 2019 bloody love a new year love watching people's videos talking about what they've done in the past year what they're doing this year love resolutions plans just trying to better myself just slightly more better than the year before so i will start with um, my reading plans for 2019 and then i'll move on to my channel plan so 2019 but wait, in 2018, I read 122 books. Um, I set my target in 2018 at 122 books. Uh, no, at 100 books, and I read 122 books. And I thought, hmm, I'd quite like to push myself a little bit more this year and try and read 150. Um, I have done this before, and it is doable. Um, it works out roughly, I think, like two or three books a week, which is completely doable. I often read one or two books a week and listen to audiobooks and things like that. So, um, yeah, 150 books this year is what I plan to read. Um, I don't often set... I've got a whole... Look at this. I've made notes and everything. I don't often set specific targets i've done it before when i first started this channel um i've got sort of like reading resolutions videos where i'm talking about i'm gonna got a tbr jar and every month i'm gonna take a book out of a tbr jar and i'm gonna read it i do it for two months i get bored i'm gonna read this many books da, da, da. so i don't normally set targets like that for myself because they don't work however and i mentioned this in my january tbr um i didn't read any translated fiction last year which i am mortified about and disgusted at myself about because there's just no excuse so I've set myself the target of reading one translated fiction book a month which obviously I can read more than one translated fiction book a month if if the mood takes me but I want I want that target to be known and for me to stick to it because there is absolutely no reason why I shouldn't be reading 12 translated fiction books a month so that is something that I'm very very certain that I will stick to I'm really going to try hard um and stick to trying to read a translated fiction book a month so that is there um another thing I am planning on doing in terms of reading um I run a few book clubs I run one at work I've got a, a Patreon book club and I'm planning on reading um a different genre each month for those book clubs um so what I will do is like one month and, and, and things that aren't too similar either. So I don't want to go from sort of reading maybe women's contemporary fiction to then reading literary fiction and picking a, a literary fiction book that's very similar to this women's contemporary fiction book. Uh, but same as like I wouldn't want to read potentially like non-fiction's a bit different isn't it because it's very broad but like um, a memoir followed by an autobiography or something like that so I'm trying to um, to branch out um, in terms of reading a different genre every month and to make those genres very different just so that I can I'm reading a whole host of genres then and then the people and I'm talking about books that I'm reading a whole host of genres as I said I run a book club at work um, with my work colleagues I run a book club with my friends and I've got a Patreon book club um, if you're self plug time self plug self promotion um if you are interested in joining my patreon book club i will link the i will leave the link down below it's www.patreon.com forward slash lauren and the books um their uh, patreon is a website where you can tip uh, content creators um as much as uh, as, as little as one dollar a month to however many millions and thousands of dollars uh, you want to, to um to, to do a month um, and I've got a five dollar tier which um, entitles you to become part of my Patreon book club where um, we have a vote, we pick a book at the beginning of the month, um, we sort of chat slightly but with no spoilers about it on my Patreon feed throughout the month and then at the end of the month um, we have a live show and um, I talk about the book, I've got some questions prepared um, and you guys can comment in and things like that. It's very, it was very fun, I did it for Christmas, I really really enjoyed it and got some really good feedback, a lot of people said they really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah that's going to be going on throughout 2019 so if that's something if you think bloody hell that sounds brilliant then please do um do, do go along to patreon and um and, and sign up because it'll be lovely and also if you're a member of that patreon book club just write in the comments how wonderful it is and how life-changing and how it's the best thing you've probably ever done in your life that would be nice um so that another thing i want to do is i want to use the library more so i do use my library however david and i moved um from not very far away but my local library uh, where I lived before we moved to here was very much open all the time it was open from nine o'clock till six uh, nine o'clock in the morning till six o'clock at night um uh, Monday to Saturday and it had late night openings on a Thursday where we've moved now we've moved to a village and um the the library is still here but open much much less 
often. So for half day on a Saturday, uh, it doesn't open at all on a Thursday, which is a pain because that's the day I have off to do my booktube stuff. Um, and it closes for lunch every day as well. So it's, yeah, it, it, I need to use my library more. And something that I, I stopped doing, which I feel disgusted at myself really, lots of disgust at myself, but um, with my library, you used to be able to reserve books for, um, it started off when I was younger, for 35p. Um, and then for years, it was free. So I would just go on my library website, type in loads of books that I wanted. I'd, or sometimes I would watch a YouTube video with the window open and type in other books I wanted and then reserve them as they went. Now, that all stopped and it became 80p to reserve a book, which I was, I did think was a big bump up to go from nothing to 80p to not even sort of stop at the 50p mark I was like whoa 80p is quite a lot it's almost a pound and um, what I'd sort of told myself is well if I'm spending 80p to borrow a book I may as well just buy it but I need to spend that 80p to make libraries able to provide the amazing free service that they do and I do still use the library to go in and browse um, as I said not so often anymore because my local library doesn't have the, the greatest opening hours that match with my life um, but I need to start um, if I want to read a book and I, I'm not sure if I want to buy it or if it's a new author or I'm not or, or, or something that I need for a book club that I wouldn't ordinarily use I need to start using my library and paying 80p rather than thinking I'll just buy it because the li I want I want libraries to continue and that 80p is not much in the grand scheme of things so I've already done it twice this year we're only I don't know what date it is today the 7th the 6th or the 7th and I've done it twice this year already so I'm feeling I mean I'm not saying I'm, I'm gonna get all my books from the library from now on because I do like to own books you may see here but there is no reason that I shouldn't be spending 80p every month every other month because it's helping the library and I get to read things so yeah that's that um Another thing, oh, buying books, into, that links into buying books. Um, I've got no plans to cut back on my buying books. I, um, I often, um, I often get, I often sort of think, to, should I be cutting back on my, my book buying? But no, I read the books I get. I love having them here. I get so much enjoyment out of buying books. I like to lend books once I've read them. If I don't, if I don't, what I tend to do now, because I've got so many books, is if I don't read them, uh, if I, sorry, if I read them and they don't get five stars, then I take them to work, I take them to a charity shop, I give them to friends. Um, I've got, like, I'm really happy with my book buying. I don't feel like it's out of hand and I enjoy spending money on books. So there's, there's no changes to cut back on that. Um, but something I do want to do, and I said this last year in my reading resolutions video, is that I want to um, I want to read books before they come out. I'm in a very, very privileged and wonderful position that um, publishers kindly send me books before they're due out. At the moment, I think I've got about six or seven books on my bookshelf that are due out in January. Um, and I'd like to sort of get a bit ahead. I'm not saying like read them months and months before, but I'd like to maybe read them a little bit before they come out, just so I'm aware a bit more of the hype or can sort of tell people if they're going to be good um, in order for when they come out. So that's something I would like to do. So um, maybe I'm not going to stick to it as strictly as um, as I do with um, as I'm going to with my translated fiction, but I'm going to be sort of popping in a few um, new releases in my TBRs and stuff, just having a look what's out that month and putting in some new releases and stuff. It would be nice to read books like a few months ahead of schedule, but I'm quite happy to do it sort of one or two months or maybe even the month that it's due out. Uh, what else? Rereads. I'm going to try. I've been. Well, and this sort of come to me when I was doing my best books of 2018, which I will link the video down below. Um, when I was doing that, and I've mentioned this in my TBR as well, um, I was looking at, when I was talking about the books, I was like, bloody hell, I really, really loved reading that book. I'd love to read it again. And I'm thinking, if I read it, I'm going to listen to it on audiobook as a reread this year, and I, lo and I loved it. Or if I listen to it on audiobook, I wouldn't mind reading actual some physical books. So I'm going to do some rereading. Um, what another thing, just just to slot in here, is that I'm going to use Sophie from Portal in the Pages um, reading spreadsheet she is fantastic she's got a patreon as well um recently that i've just signed up to um she provides us every year with an amazing reading spreadsheet which has just everything like you all the data you could want to log into it and recently she's put a reread section so i'm definitely going to be using that and you can also now use on goodreads a reread section so rereads i really like doing rereads and i'm just going to be when it comes to rereads this year reread 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 <laughs> when it comes to rereads this year um i'm going to um to do them in a sort of different format, which I think is quite fun and exciting. Um, I think that's it. That's it in terms of reading plans. Would be very, very interested to hear what your reading plans are. Now I shall move on to channel plans. So, 2018. We did three videos a week. We started off at four videos a week. I couldn't keep up. Four videos a week, um, but three, I had to go back down to three videos a week after about two months. 
I'm going to do three videos a week this year, guys. I'm going to do, I'm going to release them on the same days that I always do, which is Wednesday, Fridays, and Sundays. They work best for me. I really like getting new videos on a Sunday because I know that's when I watch the majority of my YouTube. So quite often a lot of the people I'm subscribed to will release on a Sunday and I'll be like, oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. So when I'm getting ready in the morning or just sitting in bed having a cup of tea, I like to watch that. So Sunday's a big day. I also do a sort of bonus day some months um, because I put up my favourites um, from the month before on the first of every month um, so if that falls on a Wednesday Friday or Sunday then no difference change that happens but if it falls on another day I'd just like to put up a little bonus video so that's nice I also did vlogmas last year which I really really love doing you guys know how much I love doing it um, and I will do that again this year I should think I can't see anything else happening um, so in terms of actual content times and things that like when you'll be seeing videos nothing much is going to change however I still haven't decided whether or not I'm going to do this, but speaking of Sophie from Portland the Pages, she's got two mentions this video because she took a bit of time off on the run up to Christmas and over Christmas. Um, I think she took the whole of December off and a bit of November um, because she needed a break. And in May, this will be, it will be my five, four, my four year YouTube anniversary. And um, I've put up a video every single week like at least one video every single week since May 2015 um which is a lot of work like like I said some some weeks I'm putting up four videos some weeks I'm putting up seven videos if you're counting vlogmas um and I feel like it might be nice for me to have a little break now originally I told myself I was going to take February off and I was just going to have February as a nice month to sort of catch up and like maybe I could still film stuff but I'll get things ready for March and things like that when I think about it, it scares me because this is so part of my life now. I feel like it would be hard to take a month off. It would be like saying, oh, I'm going to take a month off of reading this month. No, I don't want to do that. However, I do think in February at some point, I'm going to take a bit of time to myself. Whether or not I go down to one video a week in February, whether or not I take two weeks off in February, I'm just going to have a couple of weeks or a month, I'm not sure what yet, of just chilling out in February. <clears throat> so that's out there now I've said that that's something I said to David that's something I've said to a few people that I want to do it and a lot of people have said I don't think you're gonna be able to do it I don't think you're gonna be able to do it you're so used to doing it I don't think you're gonna be able to do it but I feel like it'll do me good it'll give me a bit of creative time because I'm always making videos so it'd be nice to have a bit of time um to, to not do that I don't know how that's going to manifest itself but I'll definitely update you as it goes please don't hate me <laughs> No, you should love me. You should love me because I'm taking a. You should, you should love me because I'm taking a, a break to to just relax and enjoy myself. Um, so in terms of actual content inside those videos, um, all my bookish content will be saying the same. I'll be doing TBR still. I'll be doing uh, hauls, wrap ups, currently reading, um, um, all that sort of thing. N none of that's changing. I can't think of anything that I would potentially add into that that's bookish. Um, I do like occasionally doing videos like so when the women's long list prize comes out. I like talking about that and talking about what books I've read and what I'm interested in. Um, I've done sort of some, uh, when it was um, I remember one, one year I remember it was um, St. Patrick's Day and I did like Irish authors on my shelves um, I might do a few on my shelf videos people keep asking me to do a bookshelf tour I will get round to doing it um, I'm aware at the moment my bookshelves are a bit messy I want to tidy them up and actually sort things out so I, I will get round to doing that so that's something else um, in terms of non-bookish content um, I'm going to revisit Lauren and the Babes. Lauren and the Babes is a series I started last year where I interviewed um, women in my life and just spoke about women's issues. So for instance, um, I spoke about single sex schools and female friendships with my best friend, Emma. Uh, I spoke about um, exercise with my cousin, Laura. I spoke about anxiety uh, with my sister. I spoke about um, plastic surgery and body image with my friend, Hazel. Um, yeah, I've got a whole list, a playlist of um, things that I chatted about um, and um, I'm, I'm going to be revisiting that so I'm either going to be um, going back to the same people I've spoken to and talking about a different issue or seeing some new people I'd love to do it with some booktubers I haven't done it with any booktubers yet so I'd love to um, as well as collaborations I suppose I can mention that here as well I'd love to do some more collaborations with booktubers whenever I do a sort of Google, uh, Google Docs form which there's more of later I've got to tell you that I've got one of those now um, a lot of people always say oh please do a collaboration with Jen, Jean, Lauren, more Mercedes, more Simon I want to do that in 2019 I want to so I'll be doing that uh, my cruelty free challenges will be staying I really enjoy doing those I, I set myself a budget of a certain amount of money and um, go out and buy 10 um, cruelty free beauty items um, with that amount of money um, I did a £50 cruelty free challenge um, which I haven't done the update on yet so that will be coming soon uh, my alphabet series is continuing I'm shortly going to be filming a video um, for F is for fast fashion uh, my alphabet series if you haven't watched again there's a playlist for this down below um, I work my way through the alphabet talking about 
about things that are um, important to me or issues that I have experience in. So I've done A is for anxiety, B is for body positivity, C is for cruelty free, D is for dress sizes, E is for exercise, and as I said, F is going to be for fast fashion. Um, I'm going to be doing a, a, pl a series on plastics. Um, I really want to reduce my single use plastic consumption um, in 2019 and I'm reading a book about it at the moment um, and I want to watch some documentaries and things and, and bring to you some sort of um, educational videos and also videos of my experience. I want to film a week of my life where, I'm, um, where, where I keep all the, pla all the single use plastic that I get and then, and then make, diff make changes and then film it again in a six months time and see how much difference is made and things like that. So that's something I'm going to be doing. I want to do more vlogging. Everyone says they love watching uh, my vlogs during vlogmas I want to do more vlogging uh, I might do a reading vlog I see a lot of people do reading vlogs where they talk about um, what they've read uh, throughout the month um, via the means of vlogs. So it means that you're sort of wrapping things up um, as you're as you're reading them. Um, and I do want to do that. I've tried doing that before, but I bloody forget. But maybe that's something I could do in February. Like if I'm going through February, although I'll be filming a lot in February, <laughs> won't I? Oh God, oh God. Reading vlogs I want to do. Um, I'm going to do a project um, in relation to my fast, my F is for fast fashion video. I'm going to do a project about um, uh, not buying any clothes this year, which is sounds like such a small thing, but for me, honestly, I would spend so much money on clothes, and clothes are such a part of my personality and life um, that the thought of not spending not buying any clothes this year is like. Um, but I'm going to be documenting that as well. Uh, there'll be more about body positivity. I'm going to do some cooking videos, and as I said, I'm going to do some collabs. So. 2019 planned um would love to hear from you guys if there's anything that you would like to see on this channel in 2019 as i said i've done a google form so if you i will link that down below if you want to go and fill that out all it is is just um how you um what, what you watch on my channel things you liked in 2018 things you'd like to see in 2019 um anything in particular you'd like to see um and also just because i'm interested <clears throat> how you found my channel so um i just put there's like options there where you can pick like if it was a shout out from another youtube channel if you found me on instagram twitter uh, if i know you in real life and i forced you to subscribe thanks um so yeah there's just a form down there if you'd like to fill that out that'd be really really helpful to me it just gives me some ideas and some i it gives me an idea of what people enjoy seeing what i should get rid of etc etc so that's 2019 looking forward to it as always hope you are as you can see i still haven't moved nanny's chair back here we've, we've put christmas away but i'm sat on a just a green normal chair here quite like it because i like sitting on nanny's chair over there anyway that's it from me and i will see you all again soon for another victory video goodbye